Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix connectivity issue with Arma Reforger game on your Windows computer. So the first step is to restart your computer. So sometimes a simple restart takes care of the problem. So restart your computer and then try to connect to the server. Now still you are unable to connect then make sure date, time, time zone and region is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time, then click on adjust date and time. Now make sure set time automatically is on over here. In Windows 10, you will find set time zone automatically. Make sure that is on. In Windows 11, this would be highlighted. So select the right time zone from here and then click on sync now. So make sure that you click on sync now. Now try to launch the game. Also go to region and then make sure right country is selected over here. Now the next step is to start battle life service for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now here you can see battle eye service make a double click on battle eye service and then make sure startup type is set to automatic then click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with battle eye service selected over here click on restart the service now once done launch the game now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall battlelight.bat file for this go to the download location so open steam make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files now this will take you to the game installation folder now open battlelight folder now over here you can see uninstall battlelight.bat file over here so make a double click and then click on yes click on yes to allow now click on ok now again make a double click on install battlelight.bat file click on yes Now once done, launch the game. Now the next step is to join official server. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So try joining the official server and you should not face any problem. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you are using Windows security, then go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security. You will find privacy and security option. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down here. You can see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app and then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So in your case, it may be in C drive. So select C drive, then program files x86. Now open the Steam folder, then open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here you will find the game folder. In my case, it's indeed D drive. So open Steam, Steam apps, common, open the game folder. Now select the game exe files. First of all, select Arma Reforger underscore B dot exe. Click on open. Now again, click on add and allowed app, then click on browse all apps. This time select Arma Reforger Steam dot exe. Click on open. And once the game is added over here, now launch the game. Also allow the game exe file to your Windows firewall. For this type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now click on system and security. Now click on Windows Defender firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall. And then click on change settings on the top. Then click on allow another app now click on browse go to the game installation folder so open steam steam apps common armory forger select the game exe file that is armory forger underscore b dot exe click on open and then click on add in my case it's already added now 
again click on browse and this time select armory forger steam.exe click on open and then click on add in my case it was not added so make sure armory forger and armory forger game is added over here and then click on ok and then launch the game now the next step is to run this command this command is provided in the video description so type in cmd in windows search box and then make a right click on command prompt app then click on run as administrator make sure that you're opening command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key now launch the game now the next step is to disable manual proxy so if you have enable manual proxy disable it for this go to the start menu then click on settings go to network and internet now over here select proxy if this is on turn it off now the next step is to run network troubleshooter for this go to the start menu then click on settings now if you have windows 11 click on system once you select system scroll down then you will find troubleshoot option in windows 11 you will find troubleshoot option under system in windows 11 click on update and security and then you will find troubleshoot and then click on additional tr troubleshooter or other troubleshooter and then find network adapter and then click on run the troubleshooter and once the troubleshoot is complete restart the computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description so run these commands so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app then click on run as administrator make sure that you're opening command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste all the command one by one all the commands are provided in the video description so copy it one by one paste it hit the enter key So run all the command. Now once done, restart your computer. So make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to perform network reset. Now before you perform network reset, make sure that you have the you have a Wi-Fi password. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings, network and internet. Now over here you can see network reset. In Windows 11, click on advanced network settings and then you will find network reset option. Click on network reset. Now click on reset now. Make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password. Click on reset and click on yes and this will restart your computer. And next time when you try to connect, when you click on connect, it will be asking for your Wi-Fi password. So enter the Wi-Fi password and then once you're connected, launch the game. Now the next step is to switch to different network. Now if you have multiple networks, so you if you have different network, then you can try to connect to different network and then check. Now the next step is to use ethernet connection. So if your computer has an ethernet port or if you have an ethernet cable, then can use ethernet connection and then check the performance. Now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version. Make sure this is up to date. Your windows is up to date. Go to settings, then click on update and security or windows update and then click on check for update and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the last step is to verify the game files and or update the game. So go to steam. If you see the update option, update the game. And if the game is already updated, make a right click, then select properties, go to the local files tab, and then click on verify integrity of game files. After the verification, launch the game. So one of the steps should help you to fix the connectivity issue. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.